Hi everyone, Suzanne here. I hope you're all well and welcome to Sew Custom. Today's video is going to be how I pattern drafted my layered cami top. So if you're interested in seeing that, then let's get started. So starting with the tracing, I'm tracing here my front bodice block. This is my dartless block and I'm tracing it onto some fresh paper. I'm making sure I'm transferring my markings. So I have my apex there. I also have a little dot directly below the apex at the waist and a little dot sort of the midpoint of the shoulder. So just making my apex a little bit more clear there and drawing a line from there to my shoulder. So to that little dot I marked. And again, from the apex to the waist. Now just measuring down the center front seven inches giving myself a little dot there and measuring down that line from the shoulder four inches. Again, giving myself a little dot and then drawing myself a one centimeter wide line, five millimeters either side of that dash line to the shoulder. And then connecting that new shoulder point to my new neckline and the same thing connecting the other side to my armhole. So using my hip curve here just to give me a nice smooth curve. So now I want to reduce the gape at the armhole but also reduce the length of the neckline. Doing both of these things will help improve the fit. So I've just drawn myself two lines from the apex to the armhole and from the apex to the neck. So removing the top part of that pattern I no longer need that. And now just slashing the armhole apex line and the apex waistline. And then I'm just going to place one side of my armhole over the other at that line overlapping just by about five millimeters. Once I'm happy everything's flat, sticking everything down, I'm doing exactly the same thing at the neck, again by about five millimeters. And as I'm doing this, this is opening up that waistline so you can see my slash line opening up towards the waist. So I've just stuck my pattern piece on top of some fresh paper and now drawing in my new neckline. Also smoothing out the curve at the armhole. And now I want to increase the length. So I'm measuring down from the hem five inches, drawing myself a nice curved line, joining up to my side seam and just to add a one centimeter seam allowance now and label. So this is my front, I shall cut one on the fold, little notch at my center front there and now on to my back. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing here so I'm tracing my back dartless bodice block onto some fresh paper. Marking in my apex, the midpoint of the shoulder and a little dot directly below the apex at the waist. So joining the apex to that dot at the waist and the apex to my dot at the midpoint of the shoulder. Now measuring down that same distance, seven inches down the center back and four inches down that dash line from the shoulder. Five millimeters on either side of that dash line. Joining up the center back neckline to that new shoulder point and drawing myself a nice new armhole. And now to reduce the gape at the armhole and also reduce the length of the neckline at the back. So I'm following exactly the same process as I did on the front, slashing open the line from the neck to the apex and from the apex to the waist, overlapping my new neckline, so one side over the other by about five millimeters. Same thing at the armhole. So overlapping my cut edges by that same distance, five millimeters again, opening up the waist, 
and then popping my new pattern onto some fresh paper, drawing in my new neckline, which is now reduced in length, smoothing off that curve on the underarm, and then increasing the length by that same distance again, so five inches. So that's that done. Now just to add my seam allowance and label. So this is my cami top back. I shall cut one on the fold. And I have a notch at the centre back. Done. So now to make my straps. So when I was making my front and back pattern pieces, I measured down from the shoulder on that dash line using four inches. So my strap length is going to be twice that, so eight inches. So I've just drawn myself a line eight inches long and one centimeter wide. Added a one centimeter seam allowance the whole way around and labeling. So I shall cut two and my straps are complete. So that's my base pattern complete. So I have my front and back, I've reduced the gape of the armhole and reduced the length of the neck on both front and back, given myself that little bit of extra length and now I've just traced those patterns front and back to make my layered piece. So these are exactly the same pattern pieces and all I'm doing here is reducing the length by about two and a half inches. So that's the front I've just done. Repeated the same step on the back. And just to remove that bottom bit and label. So this is my layered piece. This is my front. I shall cut one on the fold. And the same for my back. And that is this total pattern complete. So I have my front, my back base, and my layered front and back, and my strap. And once it's all sewn up, this is how it looks. I've done a video on how I sewed this one up some time ago. I shall leave that linked below. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've not yet subscribed, please do. And I shall see you on Friday in my next one. Until then, I hope you have a fantastic week. Bye folks!